something I talk about a lot, actually, that we uh, we work with uh, clients a lot on as well, is uh, the obstacles and overcoming the obstacles, turning what are clear obstacles into the path forward. Um, but what happens a lot of the time with that is you find that you've you've got a plan to overcome the obstacle uh, and now you need to do something to actually make that happen uh, and then there's a whole pile of negative side effects start coming out of the woodwork of that uh, for any of you who know our nerdy lingo you'll know that that is uh, a negative branch but anyway essentially it's a negative side effect of a, a positive idea or a solution uh, and now these can hinder people it's sort of the next the next blocking thing after you've uh, you figured out how to overcome the obstacle is how to uh, now overcome any potential negative side effects. The first thing to think about there is to make sure that you haven't got attached to an action. That's the first thing that happens every time. Remember that when you're overcoming obstacles, you want to focus on what the effect is or what it looks like once you're past the obstacle and how to get there. And then pick an appropriate action for that. Now, if you've become attached to an action, and that action has some major negative side effects, you're probably best to go back and look for another one. Now, if you do really like that action, or the negative side effect isn't huge, um, or you just literally can't find another action that you believe will cause uh, that outcome you're looking for, then the next step is to look at, okay, how can we mitigate these negative side effects? What's, what's a way that we can... Uh, What's a way that we can come up with something else to essentially uh, mitigate that negative side effect? Sorry, a little bit distracted there. The, uh, the autobahn just went down from 140 to uh, 80. Anyway, um, yeah, so you want to look at, well, what is, what is the positive effect we're getting here? Why is this negative there? Um, and it could be anything. Oh, we might uh, lose a relationship with some partners we have. Uh, people might not uh, be happy with us after it's done. All of these sort of things. Uh, so, for a simple example, uh, something that we recommend a lot is delegation via actions. Uh, <laughs> the opposite of that. Delegation via effects. So whenever you give an action, make sure it's clear what you're actually looking for out of that action. What the what. It, looks like when it's done what the purpose of the action is in the first place now we talk about that a lot uh, the the transition logic again the uh, nerd speak for those of you who know what I'm talking about there um, now this can be a little daunting as well when you first start doing it because people um, can be offended by an email or, you know expectation that emails are relatively chatty or polite and then one comes in and says oh hi Mark uh, look, the effect I want is blah, 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 blah. So in order to achieve that, I think we should take this action or I'd like you to do, go ahead and do this. Or um, I recommend that you, you have a go at this action, but you know, go ahead and figure out how to get to that effect yourself. A simple way of trimming that one, for example, is to just put in the subject line, just have some sort of code like, um, like effect or since, again, since we call it transition logic, you could put TL in, in capitals in the subject line. People know that it's a transition-based handover. It's an action and effect-based handover. Simple as that. People's expectations are changed, and then they don't, um, they are, well, they're far less likely to be upset. People can be upset over anything, so you never know. Um, that's a simple way of mitigating that. So that's often the next step after you've figured out how to overcome those obstacles that you have in your project or, um, or anywhere, is to look at what negative side effects you might have from the solution you've come up with and how you might be able to trim those so that, or, um, so that you might be able to uh, still do the things you want to do, uh, cause the effects you want to cause, uh, and move forward.